The story of the Hebrews' exodus from Pharaoh has been told and retold for thousands of years. From Moses demanding, Let my people go! To the parting of the Red Sea. This is the epic tale of Passover. When every single Hebrew followed Moses into the desert. Every single Hebrew, except for one. <laughs> ah, freshly leavened bread. Where is everyone? Mordechai? Shlomo? Jehoshaphat? Poor Yoli was the last remaining Hebrew in Egypt's land. And was thus tasked with all the responsibilities of the tribe. Realizing he could not endure another day of slavery, Yoli prayed that he could leave Egypt to rejoin his brethren. But how? The Hebrews, in their haste, had taken all of their bread and food with them, leaving behind only the livestock. All hope of escape was lost for Yoli, and he was hungry. While waiting for his steaks to cook, Yoli prayed and prayed for a solution to his dilemma. Yoli had accidentally stumbled upon the dehydration and preservation process of curing meat, oy vey. otherwise known as beef jerky. Mm. This jerked meat is the answer to my prayers. Yoli packed enough beef jerky to last approximately 39 years, but who's counting? And headed off after his tribesmen. Here goes nothing. Really? Matza, matza here. Who wants some matza? Get it while it's flat. Matza again? Isn't there something else to eat? Whose brilliant idea was it to lead us into the hot desert and only bring crackers? We can't take this anymore, Moses. At least in Egypt they gave us real food. I say we go back. Who's with me? I am. I am. Yeah. People, please wait. Hashem will provide. Hey, look over there. Who's that? It's Yoli, and he's got food! Holy cow, it's delicious! What do you call this stuff, Yoli? I call it beef jerky. And now, thousands of years later, as Jews around the world prepare their Passover seders to remember the story of Moses, he who delivered us from bondage, we must also remember Yoli, he who delivered us from hunger. Holy cow! Kosher! <laughs> <laughs>